Ever wondered what the difference between a Roth and traditional IRA is? Well, let's dive into the world of individual retirement accounts, or IRAs for short. These financial tools are pivotal in planning for your golden years, offering a way to save and grow your wealth for retirement. In essence, an IRA is a savings account with big tax breaks, making it an ideal way to sock away cash for your retirement. Now, when it comes to IRAs, there are two main players on the field, Roth and traditional. Both have their unique features, benefits and rules. Yes, it might seem like a lot to digest, but don't worry. We're here to break it down for you. Understanding the differences between Roth and traditional IRAs can help you make informed decisions for your retirement planning. So let's get started and unravel the mystery of these two types of IRAs. Buckle up, it's going to be an enlightening ride. First, let's delve into the traditional IRA. This retirement savings account has been around since the mid-70s, and it's a favorite for many because of its key features. The traditional IRA is just like a savings piggy bank, but with a twist. It's not just any piggy bank, it's a tax-deferred piggy bank. Let's talk tax deductions. The contributions you make into your traditional IRA are made with pre-tax dollars. This means that the money you put in can be deducted from your income when it's time to file your tax return. So, if your income is $100,000 and you contribute $5,000 to your traditional IRA, you only have to pay income tax on $95,000. Sounds like a good deal, right? But here's the catch. There are income limits to who can deduct their contributions. If you or your spouse have a retirement plan at work, the amount you can deduct may be reduced or eliminated depending on your income level. So, it's worth checking the IRS guidelines to know your eligibility. Now let's talk about withdrawals. Remember when we said this is a tax-deferred piggy bank? Well, this means that when you start withdrawing money in retirement, it's taxed as regular income. And another thing to keep in mind, there are rules for when you can start making withdrawals without penalties. Typically, you'll need to be at least 59 and a half years old. Also, once you hit the age of 72, you'll have to start taking required minimum distributions whether you need the money or not. So, a traditional IRA offers immediate tax benefits, but withdrawals during retirement are taxed. It's like a trade-off. You get tax breaks now, but you'll have to pay Uncle Sam later. It's a great option if you think your tax rate will be lower in retirement than it is now. But, as with any financial decision, it's always best to consult with a financial advisor to ensure it's the right fit for your individual circumstances. Now let's switch gears and discuss the Roth IRA. A Roth IRA is another type of individual retirement account, but unlike the traditional IRA, it comes with its own unique set of rules and benefits. One of the key features of a Roth IRA is the absence of tax deductions on contributions. This means that when you contribute to a Roth IRA, you're doing so with after-tax dollars. To put it simply, you pay taxes now, so you won't have to later. This might seem like a disadvantage compared to the traditional IRA, which allows for tax deductions on contributions. However, when you start to consider the long-term benefits, the Roth IRA begins to shine. Imagine this, you're a young professional, just starting out in your career. You're currently in a lower tax bracket, but you anticipate moving into a higher one as your career progresses. This is where the Roth IRA becomes a game changer. By paying taxes now, while you're in a lower tax bracket, you potentially save on taxes in the future when you may be in a higher tax bracket. Another attractive feature of the Roth IRA is that, unlike the traditional IRA, it does not impose income limits for contributions. This makes it an accessible option for many individuals, regardless of their income level. But perhaps the most enticing feature of a Roth IRA is the tax-free withdrawals. Remember those after-tax dollars you've been contributing? Well, when you reach retirement age, you can withdraw those contributions and any earnings on them completely tax-free. This can be a significant advantage, especially if you expect to be in a higher tax bracket during retirement. 
So while the Roth IRA may not offer immediate tax benefits like a traditional IRA, it does offer the potential for tax-free income during retirement. And that's a feature that's hard to beat. In contrast, a Roth IRA doesn't provide immediate tax benefits, but withdrawals during retirement are tax-free. Having understood the basics of both, it's time to place them side by side. The Roth and traditional IRAs, though similar, have key differences that can significantly impact your retirement savings. One of the main distinctions lies in the way these accounts are taxed. With the traditional IRA, your contributions are tax deductible in the year they are made. This means you get a tax break up front, but you'll pay taxes on your withdrawals in retirement. The Roth IRA, on the other hand, flips this arrangement. You contribute post-tax dollars, meaning you don't get an immediate tax break, but your withdrawals in retirement are tax-free. Another notable difference is the income limits. For Roth IRAs, there are income restrictions that determine whether you can contribute and how much. If you're a high earner, you might be partially or entirely barred from contributing to a Roth IRA. Traditional IRAs, however, have no income limits for contributions, though there may be limits on how much you can deduct from your taxes based on your income and whether you or your spouse have a retirement plan at work. Withdrawal rules also vary between the two. With a traditional IRA, you must start taking required minimum distributions or RMDs once you reach the age of 70 and a half. This isn't the case with Roth IRAs, which have no RMDs, allowing your money to grow tax-free for as long as you like. However, with a Roth IRA, you're able to withdraw your contributions, but not the earnings, at any time without penalty, which adds a level of flexibility that the traditional IRA lacks. As we can see, the choice between a Roth and traditional IRA depends largely on your current income level and your expected income in retirement. Both have their advantages and are powerful tools for saving, but the best one for you will depend on your individual financial circumstances and retirement goals. So, which one should you choose? Roth or traditional IRA? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? The answer, however, isn't as straightforward as you might think. It's not about one being better than the other, but rather, which one is better for you? Your choice largely depends on a few key factors. First, consider your current tax rate and what you expect it to be in the future. If you anticipate being in a higher tax bracket when you retire, a Roth IRA could be beneficial since you pay taxes now rather than later. Next, think about your age. Younger investors might lean towards a Roth IRA given the potential for decades of tax-free growth. Meanwhile, older investors might appreciate the immediate tax benefits of a traditional IRA. Lastly, consider your retirement goals. Do you want to leave a tax-free inheritance? Or perhaps you're aiming for a certain lifestyle post-retirement? Remember, it never hurts to seek advice from a financial advisor. The right choice depends on your personal financial situation and retirement goals. To sum it up, both Roth and traditional IRAs have their unique advantages. A Roth IRA offers tax-free growth and tax-free withdrawals in retirement, making it a valuable tool for those expecting to be in a higher tax bracket in their golden years. On the other hand, the traditional IRA provides tax-deductible contributions and deferred taxes until withdrawal, which can be a great benefit for those expecting to be in a lower tax bracket post-retirement. The key is understanding your financial goals, your expected future income, and your tax situation. By understanding these factors, you can make an informed decision about which IRA is best suited for your needs. Remember, it's not just about saving for retirement, it's about maximizing the value of those savings. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video if you found it useful. Stay tuned for more financial insights.